Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And we have posts from the United States with states with a Christmas tree. It didn't get here in time, but still it did get here. This is post all the way from Tampa Bay, Florida. And we also have two letters from Portland. So really exciting uh, stuff here as it's all mail that I'm not expecting actually. So I'm just gonna open it up and um, we'll see what's in here. There we go. What is in your little sneak peek? <laughs> There's a ribbon. Oh, I think I know what this is. I saw this on Instagram and I think this is from the Desert Twisters. They're located in Arizona. I think let's turn it around. Yes, there we go. It's the Desert Twister Christmas ornament, people. I'm gonna hang this up in my tree. My tree is still rocking, so don't worry. Thank you very much for sending this. I really appreciate it. I was actually looking, you know, on Instagram and seeing all the other people in the community um, getting one of these and I was getting a little bit jealous. So I'm happy that you sent me this one. Definitely, go definitely going uh, in my tree. Okay, we've got two letters left. And this comes from Portland, also the United States. There are quite some cards in here. I think this is for my revised collection, but I could be wrong. It's really nice to see how many people are like willing to, um, to trade or actually just sending me cards uh, with my kind of my uh, revised project and my Fallen Empire project. Okay, so here we go. We've got a pack. There seems to be a note in here, so I'll open this one first. Or maybe this is the letter. Okay, I don't wanna damage the letter if there's, so. Okay. Ah, dear Sorcerer, Sorcerer, thank you for the great content. Keep it up, Ezra from Portland. Well, thank you, Ezra, for actually sending me this. Not sure what it is yet, but um, let's have a little peek. Oh, wow, look at this. They're all, I think this is probably Fallen Empires and these are, wow, very cool. These are uh, revised cards. So I'm definitely gonna try to get these out of here. Let's have a look. Ooh, okay, there's, there's a sleeve, doesn't matter. And this is great. So for people who have been following me on, well, on the channel also, but also on Instagram, they probably know, wow, is this Ezra, thank you, man, appreciate it. Wow, this looks like a closed Fallen Empire booster pack. That is great, thank you. Um, for the people that have been following kind of the channel, they know I'm on this mission of trying to complete uh, my revised and fallen empires like times four play sets of everything and I'm not collecting the um, The restricted cards. So for example, I only have one wheel of fortune I'm not going to try to get four wheel of fortunes uh, Together since you're only allowed to play one and is it and it is extremely expensive uh, And what I'm trying to do is instead of just you know buying all the cards. I'm trying to um, to trade the cards and you know, and then I'm just mainly talking about the ones that are not expensive, like the dual lens I am just buying. And again here, keep it up. Wow, Ezra, I really, I mean, I really appreciate it. You're not sending me uh, one letter, you're sending me two letters of magic cards and even, even a booster pack. That's just, I don't know what to say, that's great. Look at this, another booster pack and we've got more Fallen Empires in here. So what I really like, and maybe you can just leave a comment below. Um, back in the day, you know, we used to do a lot more trading than these days, which makes sense because it's so much easier 
to just buy something online and just put your cars for sale um, online. But I kind of like that trading mentality. And I have to say, it's kind of hard to trade in some cases because the card prices differ so much. You can you cannot say I'm going to trade a rare for a rare. You know, it's not it's not how it works in these days. Um, okay, so let's let's go through these cards one at a time. Uh, wow. Okay, so first up, two booster packs of Fallen Empires. That is wow. They're closed and everything still. Wow, Ezra. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Really appreciate it. I'm a huge fan of Fallen Empires. Let's just start with that with the Fallen Empire cards. Um, so we've got Ecation Javelineers. This one is made by Scott um, Kirchner. And oh, look at this one. This has this has some experience. I love cards with experience. There we go. It's an Ecation Infantry. This card is actually pretty useful. So is the Javelineers as well. By the way, they're they're pretty playable when you're playing a white weenie strategy, I feel. And this one doesn't see that much action, but I mean, one white, one to give it banding and one to give it a first strike, it's it's not too bad. So we'll put it here and then we have Order of Light Burr or Order of Light Beer as some people name it. Uh, we'll put it there and Ecation Lieutenant. I am really happy with this one. This is pretty difficult to trade. I mean, believe it or not, I've been trying to trade this one for, well, a year, because I've been working on this Fallen Empire project for a year now, and this one's really hard to trade, so I'm super happy with this one. It's quite difficult to get. Thank you very much. I'm gonna put it here. Ecation Scout, I believe now I have this one complete of this art, because that is a difficult thing. I'm not just collecting all the Fallen, Empire, Fallen Empire's cards times four, no. I also want to have each specific art times four. Phil Foglio art. I, as a kid, when I, I used to play this as a kid because I really liked First Strike, but I I was always surprised that this Ecation Scout didn't have flying because you can see him flying on this huge bat, right? So I was always surprised that this one didn't have flying. Let's put it over here. And then the last one, there we go. Oh, this is already revised. So as a, as a lot of people know who follow the channel, Revice is my, uh, you know, my alpha, which is probably why I am um, so keen on it and why I enjoy playing it. There, there's been a moment um, in magic, my magic history, where somebody offered me to trade my collection, or I, I'm not sure how many Revice cards uh, I had at the time, but he wanted to trade it all for unlimited. In those days, Unlimited and Revised were about the same value. I believe Revised in some cases was even more valuable. And I didn't want to because I like these pencil colors as I used to call them. For me, this more looked like it was colored with a pencil and for me, the Unlimited at the time looked like it was done by marker. Now, of course, when I look at Unlimited now with the vivid colors, especially the dual lands, I'm like, wow, you know, it's, it's, it's very, sparkly but i still have this connection with revise just because it's the first real set that i bought booster packs from that i you know started really understanding the game so it's, it's really my alpha so we see another karma here karma by the way two white and two to cast for an enchantment and during the player's upkeep karma does one point of damage um to that player for each swamp he or she controls so this art by richard thomas And here we go, bam! It's another Ecation Scout, okay. I'm not sure if I need it too, so maybe I've got Ecation Scout left, score. So I'll have to, I'll have to see. I'll post um, some pictures, Ezra, at the end where you can see the binder and you can you can find out how many play sets I now have thank, thanks to you, because this just really helps the collection. Um, and then we've got some of the more valuable cards in a top loader. I really appreciate that, that you took your time to do that. So this is a Meek Stone. I really like Meek Stone. Meek Stone is just great. And of course, you've got the old combination of Icy Manipulator Meek Stone. I think it's a really cool card. Just tap that Sarah Angel and then Meek Stone makes sure, make sure that it stays tapped. 
quite nice. You don't, it, it doesn't see a lot of play in, um, in old school, actually, the Meek Stone. Okay, and then we have Sengir Vampire. Let's have a look. Okay. Nice, Sengir Vampire. Um, I remember my brother played this next to a Netling Imp and a Sorcerer's Queen. It was. It is so hard to get these counters on, right? I think that ability um, definitely got overestimated where I was playing when I just started playing Magic. I was like, wait a minute, five mana, it's a 4-4, four, four, and it gets a plus one, plus one counter every time it kills a creature? It's 4-4, four, four, it's huge, it's going to grow even bigger. Wow. You know, we all thought the Sanger Vampire was the bomb. Uh, I mean, it still is better than an Air Elemental, I guess. But now, you know, playing at a different level, I, I can see that Sarah Angel is definitely the better 4-4 Flyer in most cases. Uh, but it's still a strong, beautiful card. Let me know in the comments below if you play this with Netling Imp, by the way. Really cool. Okay, so we've got Sengir Vampire, we've got a Meek Stone, we've got two Karmas. Thank you very much for these cards. And we've got some sweet Fallen Empire. And to top it off, let me just get the Fallen Empire cards here. For me, the Occasional Lieutenant is the absolute hit of the Fallen Empire cards. Really happy to see that one. That so hard, so hard to trade this one. So thank you very much for that. And two sealed Fallen Empire boosters. Ezra, thank you, man. Thank you for this. Really appreciate it. Um, and I also would like to thank you for watching another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. Um, and if you'd like to help the channel out, you can leave a like, you can leave a comment, you can share this on your social, subscribe if you're not a sub yet. And you can also consider becoming a patron of the channel. In that way, you can kind of sponsor me, sponsor the channel and help me keep doing what I am doing. If you'd like to know more about that, there's probably an info card popping up right now. Uh, talking about Patreon, let's take a look at the end scroll and let's have a look at the channel members and patrons of Timmy Dogs. Ich kann das Ficket zum Bakasin.